Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading. We are still in your fellow sister sign Cancer and we're just coming off a really intense full moon in Capricorn where some truths have potentially been revealed that could transform something in your life. So we're going to look at, get a little message to start the reading and this is kind of a little umbrella message that we might refer back to. It says, I claim my own power and lovingly create my own reality. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. Beautiful. So this is about where I feel like you find yourself in a space that almost feels a little bit foreign, like it's a little bit like fish out of water. You're in a new space and you could feel quite vulnerable in this space, but at the same time, it's kind of, uh, yeah, pushing you into this. Well, not pushing you, but it's uh, saying... How do you operate in within this new environment? How are you claiming your power in a, a, a space or a place or a situation that you're not familiar with? So it's stepping into the unfamiliar and then working out how you want to be in that energy. We've got as the situation, the king of feathers, logic and justice. Beautiful. This is the equivalent of the king of swords. It's the card of Aquarius. And what it's saying is to, if you find yourself in a place where you're feeling a bit emotionally unsure and you're feeling a bit like, like, like I said, that fish out of water, it's saying the best way to deal with this is to actually detach yourself emotionally from the situation and take yourself out of the situation for the moment and look at it in terms of logic. Apply some logic in terms of what's going on and it's like weighing something up in a very rational mind. Now, it may actually be somebody that you're dealing with because it's like you're using your intellectual prowess and powers here to claim your power, to step into your own power and create your own reality. So it's what's going on inside your mind and it's been able to logically say okay I'm feeling a bit like this but if I can't step back and look at the situation rationally it looks different and maybe uh, yeah, I can acknowledge my feelings but maybe it's yeah it's different to how I'm I'm feeling so this may be, like I said, somebody that you have had a meeting with. The King of Feathers can often mean that, some kind of, um, it can often mean, yeah, a business meeting of some sort or something where it feels almost cooler and more official. Like you're talking about uh, solutions, strategies, problems, or, you know, something like that. You're talking something through rather than it's more like a personal, warm and fuzzy meeting. So the King of Feathers, maybe you're dealing with somebody who's actually very intelligent or it can be also somebody that has uh, detached from you. It might be somebody that's giving you a bit of the cold shoulder here with this King of Feathers. This can be that you had this emotional connection and suddenly it just feels like the walls come up and they're feeling a little bit cooler. And it can be, I don't understand what's going on. So that's why it feels like you're in different territory because I feel like the other person may have shifted as well. And it's like, hey, we were getting on a moment ago and now you've retreated and you're not there or you're in a different space and it feels like this what's going on between us is in a very different space as well. So that can come on and that sometimes like what I said, when you detach, it's not so much that the emotional connection is not there, but it can mean that, but it means that that person has withdrawn and detached for a reason and it may be a sense of why. Why did they do that? Getting to the bottom of that and may actually be nothing to do with you, strangely enough. It could be but it might not be. So let's see what's shifting and changing. Pentacle, Queen, Capricorn, Throne. And this is a sense that um, something, a situation that was consistent or a person that felt like they were consistent is shifting. That's what I'm saying is it felt like you're in, ve you're in very different territory with someone or a situation now. And like the King of Feathers can be a cool energy. There's a lot cooler. Somebody's being a lot cooler or the situation has kind of cooled down where it felt like it was potentially there was more warmth and excitement before or that it just was a different temperature. However, that applies is what they're telling me. So, yeah, the Pentacle Queen is, you know, what what was stable in your life. So this is where I feel like people can be giving out mixed messages, confusing messages to you, or you might, these can be even work friends. They don't have to be like all bosses with the King of Feathers. 
it's, uh, yeah, if this is you wanting to bring in some kind of financial stability, this King of Feathers could be a conversation with like an employer or a bank of some sort. We've got the full. Okay. So the energy around it is press the reset button. Let's step into something new. You're finding yourself in a very new space. So let's see what that's looking like at this moment in time. So let's see what else is coming through. The Six of Pentacles. So again, this sense of justice, weighing up options, it's about, okay, how much time, effort and energy do I want to invest in this? It needs to be balanced. Something's gone a little bit like out of equilibrium and I want to bring the equilibrium back. So the Six of Pentacles can sometimes mean gifts of money coming to you, strangely enough. Um, so you're stepping out on this new energy, wanting to reinstate the equilibrium, to reinstate the balance. So if someone's gone really cool with you, you're like, I want a little bit more of you. I want a little bit more of this situation back. If like, for example, opportunities have gone cold, then it's like, what happened to them? What happened to uh, the contact or the communication or what happened to this sense of we had a bit more of an open contact? It can be the other way where suddenly somebody was very cool and it's like they're actually giving you a little bit more now. <laughs> so it can go the either way, Pisces, the fact that it depends on how far it went. You want to bring that balance back. So um, if they... Uh, if they have been very cool, it's like you want to bring back the the warmth. And if they've been very warm and generous, then perhaps it is a little bit too much and maybe you want them to take a step back as well. So, and maybe this is you, you've been giving too much to somebody and it's time for you to open to receive. So yeah, the, de the temperance, this is bringing in balance, bringing in the flow. Okay. So where it's felt like there hasn't been that, um, the temperance energy, yeah, new paths are aligning, something is shifting having an alchemical shift and it's shifting form so it's shifting to into a new thing and the page of cups is you it's like where do I fit in with all of this uh, I'm getting these messages from my heart here and where do I fit fit in what can I offer the situation what can I be doing here to kind of help reinstate this equilibrium so there might be some surprise messages coming in for your heart around it as well which is interesting but yeah we've got the ten of cups so ultimately though we've got happiness being restored which is actually really nice so you're thinking what can I do because I want to bring in my happiness here with the ten of cups and I want to be <laughs> the empress to be feeling more love abundance and money I want to uh, I want a really good outcome here. So you're applying your logic and justice, and this can be looking at, new, at contracts or new contracts around things uh, to do with love and money. And like I said, the pentacle queen can be both consistency within a relationship, but it can be like a stable income as well. So it can be around all of this. And you're like, right, you're getting these messages now about rebalancing. And, uh, you know, for your long-term happiness, what is it that you need to start and initiate or press the reset button on now to bring in the balance to restore happiness to your life or to bring in the happiness within a situation where it's kind of shifted somewhat? So, yeah, it's fascinating. And that's actually really great because it's like keep coming back to that message, I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality because this is you with the Page of Cups going, okay, I am claiming my power. This is me. This is what I have to offer. This is who I am. It's just authentically being me. And this is very much, you know, me standing in my own power. And this is the reality I want to create, one of harmony, balance and happiness that's coming through. So this on a bigger picture, maybe you are applying your logic and justice. You're detaching from situation going, right, can I think up a strategy or a plan? What sort of new things can I be stepping into to bring this abundance or bring this sense of security and stability into my life? So that can be mirrored back in a situation. So it can be, I kind of get it's a lot to do with your employment situation or with a particular relationship. So, yeah, interesting. But there's the opportunity with the Empress to be manifesting and creating, a new, creating your own about reality of abundance with the Empress, wanting, uh, expecting a good outcome by trying something new or doing something different in, within this situation. So interesting interesting and this is actually really good energy if you are wanting a work situation because this could be a new client a new boss a new opportunity 
to be restoring balance financially as well. So some Six of Pentacles is where somebody's investing in you. There can be gifts of money coming in, like I said. So this can represent inheritance as well for some of you. We've got the spider, okay. And interestingly, Cancer got a very similar reading about with a spider energy, and this is an earth energy, but the spider is about what are you creating? You know, I... I lovingly create my own reality. The spider lovingly creates its own web. So how are you lovingly creating the web of life for you, the web that is going to bring you happiness, or are you caught in somebody else's web? <laughs> so the spider energy is also very creative. It's a, it's a beautifully creative energy. It can be where you're very feeling a little bit more sensitive to the vibrations of people around you. And it may be around uh, connections, uh, seeking out connections, networking, it can be all sorts of things that are coming in around this to bring this these new opportunities for people to be investing in you, to be bringing abundance to come through and something that potentially could be a little bit more stable and reliable. So, yeah, interesting. I mean, in terms of a relationship, yeah, this is very much like with it, whatever it is in your life, they're saying you have the potential to manifest this at this moment. You are the spider. You are creating this web. So, uh, yeah, you want to make it something that is going to be, I mean, I love how it's a rainbow web and then we've got the rainbow of happiness here with the Ten of Cups. So that would be something that I would say that you would be wanting to shift and change in your life at this moment in time and right underneath the temperance energy, this is where new paths are aligning and creating these opportunities. You're dipping your toe back in to something and there is whatever web you've created or you're wanting to create in your life here and, and this could be related to creative projects or creating your reality. The uh, temperance energy is be patient but it's shifting and changing form. So that's actually a really positive energy to come through Pisces. So that's your reading for the week. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and take care.